Craster Shop. How's it going, Jerry? Man, it's going great, Mike. Oh man, you know what? We have field researcher footage that came in from Utah. What's going on with That's that? That's right, we did. Um, a gentleman, TJ, he took his kids out on a kids crawfishing adventure and he, he did something that we used, we've always done, Mike. Um, we've always taken our kids out on these adventures and it's great to see that TJ did the same thing. Yeah, come with us to Utah. This is such a youthful family kid adventure. You're gonna have a great time watching it. Now come on with us, let's go to Utah. Well, we got access to this private pond here that's never had a crayfish trap in it. We'll see how good we do. It seems to be loaded with crayfish. What do you got? Huh? Got a couple in there? Well, that's not our good traps. Throw it down there in the water and we'll come back to it. You pulling this one, Tyson? Oh, there was oh, one. Like one. One in there. That isn't very good. Bring that trap with you. We'll put it in a better spot. There we go. Kind of a big guy, huh? Yeah. Bring that with you. Whoa, well, look, there's nothing. We need more craster traps, huh? Like always, the craster traps loaded up way better. Wow. How many is in that one? There's only 10 feet away from that other. There's like 12. 12? Yeah. Get through that in the water, we'll come back to it. Grab it on the back. Look, all you have to do is do this. Well, not bad for our first time, I guess, in this little honey hole. Huh? Smile, guys. Look at me and smile. This thing's ginormous. <laughs> We definitely need more craster traps, huh? Yeah. More. This guy. Oh. But half of our traps had all the bait stolen and no crawfish in it. So Look at this guy, Dad. we definitely got to buy more. There's a lot of big ones. Different traps, craster traps. I want to just get, grab a hand. Held them good. It's our biggest haul, huh? Is that the trophy of the day? Let's see it. It's tiny. <laughs> I don't know how that one made it home. What do you think there is there? 30, 40? 50. 50? In the crayfish and dog? Look at this, look at this. Come here, baby. I'm gonna put him in It's a hurricane outside, so we gotta do our boiling inside the old tool shed. We do one cup per gallon of seasoning. We'll boil for 10 minutes and let it soak for 10 minutes. This is only our third boil, so the kids said they wanted it spicier. <laughs> it's got a little, little spice to it. <laughs> too hot, too hot for you. It doesn't hurt. Doesn't? Let him hang off your finger. Some sort of tough guy or what? Now put a big one on there. Let it it kind of hurts. There's a little. Here, let's dump him in. It smells like a little pinch. Water's ready. Okay. Yeah. He's a big one. <laughs> oh man. I got this pretty... on him. There is some pretty good ones in there. You can... Okay, well, our fourth boil. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. 
Are they spicy enough for you, Ryder? Yeah. Not spicy enough? They are. Getting better. Got one less kid this week, so more for us, right? Yep. Is that good? I can't get like the guts out. It's the head, is what they call it. Yeah. Do another one. Suck it real good. I'm gonna do a smaller one. Good. The hot? Huh? Yeah. TJ and family, thank you so much for letting us join you on that great kids crawfishing adventure on that private lake. Yeah, TJ, and we've got some gear we're gonna send you. We're gonna send you a free trap, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna send you a couple of the Craster Field Researcher hats for, for you and your kids. Uh, thanks so much. Now, if you like this video, like this video. If you want to see your crawfishing adventure on the Craster YouTube channel, feel free to send in some Field Researcher videos. Jerry, what a great adventure that was. You guys all have a great day, and we will catch you next time. Not picture of it. <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> <laughs> Set them down, we'll count them. Four. Four? <laughs>